Sometimes people have their opinion on how I handled my cheating husband, but he deserved everything I did. Little did he know I had more than that under my sleeve for him. When he was forced to go live with a friend because I gave the house up and put it on the market for rent and had tenants in it, he realized that the storage, the two storage units I booked, he realized that his credit card got charged for those storage units. Of course, I'm going to charge it on your card. You got enough money to fly to Nigeria and have fun time with another woman. Then you have enough money to support, keep support, to do more than that for your wife. You could have done that. You could book a vacation for both of us. You didn't do it. I was imagining all the fun that woman had, all the money he spent on her. So now I got to spend his money too. I didn't even book it for a monthly payment. I, book, I charged a whole year for both storage on his credit card. Was he mad? Oh, well, you can't do nothing to me. I'm your wife. And if you can go spend that money on another woman, you can spend it on whatever I want to do to be happy too. Uh-huh. So I kept all his checkbooks as well. Because, you know, if you rent your house out and there are maintenance issues, you, the owner, you are liable to take care of the maintenance issues. But each time I took care of it, I wrote a check from his checkbook so the money can come out of his account yes i did that you know as time went by he was begging and stuff but then he realized also that the apartment i rented the check i wrote every month was from his checkbook as well he tried to argue i said this is all your fault this is all your fault you ripped my heart out of my chest knowing that you're going to leave me sitting in the house and go on a two-month vacation in Nigeria and spend it with another woman. You, that, what, what, what I'm doing right now, if you want me to forgive you, I'm just trying to get myself to feel good by getting back at you. I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be satisfied until I'm done getting back at you. So it's either you are sorry and you are apologetic about what you did and you want your family back. Or you're going to sit there and try to argue about how much of your money I'm spending. You bought a whole ticket to go spend vacation with another woman. I don't know how much more money you spend there. How much shopping you did for her. I don't know if you planned a wedding over there with her. I don't know if she's already your wife. So if you want to argue... Then you're not thinking straight, buddy. You're not thinking straight. So that shut him up. I said, I'm, my, my apartment, you're going to pay for my apartment for this one year. Why I pocket all the money the tenants are paying for our house. And any maintenance issues, you're paying for it too. Since you want to handle two women, you got to support everything we want that will make us happy equally. So as for me, I'll take it. If even you don't want to give it because I'm the wife, the girlfriend, the side chick got to ask, but I don't have to ask. I'm your wife. You're responsible to take care of me. And if you made a mistake, you got to live with the consequences. So he, I, I shut him up. I shut him up. He started apologizing. He started bringing people to talk to me. I forgive him. I said, well, after a year, we'll go back to the house. But that wasn't the end of this drama. After a year, I sold the house. I told the tenants, y'all can leave. We're moving back in our house. But I sold the house. When he thought we were going to move back in the house, I said, no, the house is gone. I sold it. He said, and the money? I said, that's mine. That's mine. That's what you get for cheating on me. That's mine. So if you want your family back, you can get another bigger and better house to put us in. But other than that, I'm not about to go live in the past. Everything you did to me in that house, I don't want to live with it anymore. See, you have to let go of your past and forget about it. I have to put it behind me. You know how they say you got to learn to put your past behind you? That house had a lot of bad experiences. If I live in the house, I won't be able to forgive you. So now that I've sold it and the money is mine, I, I forgive you 110%. So go get another house, a bigger, better house, and put us in it if you want this family or you can just keep staying with your friend and paying my rent and i'll do what i want if i end up buying a house with all the money i got right now you're not gonna come and live there so you better go get a house if you want your family back